Hey everybody, it's Lo and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. In this video, I'm going to show you my daily skincare routine. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. A video on my skincare routine was recently requested, so here it is. I'm going to take you through my whole morning skincare routine and then also touch on my evening skincare routine. Let's jump right in with my face wash. So currently right now I'm using the Coco Kind face wash. This is the AHA Jelly Cleanser. AHA stands for Alpha Hydro Alpha Hydro Alpha hyaluronic acid. This has 4% of that AHA blend with hibiscus flower. On the back it says that the benefits are that it's infused with natural AHAs from hibiscus flower acids and fermented grape and it's a bouncy jelly cleanser that gently clarifies your skin helping to dissolve buildup, unclog pores, and brighten. So why I got it is because I like a lot of my other Coco Kind products so I figured I would give it a shot and just kind of switch it up and see what I think about it. The price is reasonable considering it's like a not high-end product but like it's not like a drugstore product in that sense and it's all clean natural ingredients so because of all of that I do like it and I did want to try it but I wouldn't say it's like changed my life at all before this I was just using CeraVe and once this is out I'll probably order like the CeraVe salicylic acid cleanser just so I get that salicylic acid morning and night but overall like I wanted to try it, nothing bad happened or anything, but did it change my life? Did it make my skin like drastically better? I don't think so. Really good, good to try if you want to, and then if you do see improvements, obviously continue using it if it really, really works for you. Now that I've talked about it, I'm going to get this thing. It's the PMD face cleanser. It has like little silicone bristles, so it doesn't gather any bacteria or junk. So it's super easy to clean. You charge it. It also has this like jade stone on the back that you can heat up and I'll show you. So there's two like vibrating parts to like clean with. So you have one and two. If you really want to, sometimes if I'm feeling extra icky or I have like makeup that's not coming off right away, I go to two, hit it a third time and it does this like other vibrating thing and you can turn on this back button so it warms it up which is like good for it says it's good for serums i find certain serums that i would use it with they get weird but it has really helped like if my neck ever feels super sore sometimes i just like do this and it feels really good and then there's also a like more intense version of that but i usually just use the first setting on the bristles before i jump into finishing up my skincare i want to just talk about this a while back i did a whole like drunk elephant minis review and i actually really really like this i bought the full size but this is how i take off my makeup it's my favorite way and then with the minis because i still have that little tiny travel one although that is empty i'll still reuse that and i just scoop out from this big one and refill that tiny one so when i am traveling like this past weekend i can just take that little thing with me and it's the best way to take off makeup especially like lately i've been traveling for weddings so it's things where i'm wearing more makeup than i would if i were like going to florida over the summer i'm not really wearing any makeup also sorry if my voice sounds not too great again was traveling this past weekend for a wedding and was not the most hydrated still not the most hydrated i could be better about that another way that i take off makeup but not my favorite way is with my cellar water so there was one that i had i can't think of the brand but it has like a little pink cap i got a mini one in my stocking last year really liked it then i was at whole foods i needed more but i was like oh i'll get this one because it's cheaper because it's a whole fruits brand don't like it i don't know what it is it's like the same but i am almost out of it because I've just been using it because I have it and I wanna get rid of it because I paid for it. But this isn't my favorite. So if my cellar water is the route you wanna go, don't recommend Whole Foods. And then when I am using any of those to take on my makeup, I have these little cloths. My cousin had a baby shower. She wanted two packs of these little tiny rags. Order two packs on Amazon. And I double checked, I only ordered and paid for two packs. Seven packs came. I kept one, so they're literally just like little baby rags and they're super dingy but i just use these to wipe off my makeup and then i just wash them now into my morning daytime skincare routine niacinamide is my holy grail this stuff very cheap i think this bigger bottle is like less than seven dollars i used to have these like i would get just like blackheads little tiny pores 
nobody noticed them, but I did. And then I would attack them and just like clean out all the little pores and then they would turn into like red bumps and then because they were like open and inflamed, then they would become like whiteheads. They were gross. Ugh. And it wasn't that my skin was bad. It was that it was like not great and then I attacked it. So it was a personal problem. And then I started using this. I love it so much. Literally just every morning, it is the best thing ever. It got rid of just like after a few weeks, it didn't happen instantly. But all those little blackheads on my forehead disappeared. When they were gone, I had nothing to pick. And because I had nothing to pick, my skin looked great. My only thing with it is that some, I've tried a bunch of different sunscreens over the years, like clean sunscreens and all the stuff. And some sunscreens have niacinamide in it. Or when I use the Ilia skin tint, it has niacinamide in it. And when you do like niacinamide on niacinamide, it like rolls, if that makes sense. So, don't recommend that. So something that I don't use every day is this watermelon hemp oil. If there's a day where I'm feeling super dry, like the weather's super dry, my skin's just like dry. I'm typically a really oily person, so it's not often, but if there ever is a day and if I'm not really wearing makeup, because sometimes when I do put this on and then I do get oily by the end of the day, like the makeup is sliding on off. Or sometimes this does help when I do use Ilia skin tint. I honestly don't even know when the last time I used that is. It's been so long, but if I do, I do like to add this. It's the, again, watermelon hemp oil from Coco Kind. This I really do like. It's just like little, little blots, little dabs. I'll do a little bit right now. Blot it on. If there's ever a time where I'm doing um, like gua sha, which isn't often, even though my gua sha stone sits in the bathroom and like stares at me, then this is the oil that I would use. Just cause it's not too oily. It's not squeaky. I really like it. Something else that I do sometimes, not all the time, and this will be like, Every once in a while, I'm like, oh, maybe I should like take like a break from the niacinamide for a day. I use this Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting and Refining Serum. It works. Like if my skin's like really bad one day, like around my period, then I feel like it's more intense than the niacinamide, whereas like that's my daily fave. This is my like once every two weeks fave. If I want to switch it up, have fun, really no rhyme or reason. Then I do use this. However, I do think it's the most expensive out of everything, but I'm pretty sure I got it in like a FabFitFun box. My mom and I would share those for like, I think we did it for like a year and a half. And this itself costs more than the FabFitFun box did. And my mom's whole thing was get whatever's the most expensive. So I got this out of it and I do really, really enjoy it. If I saw it on the shelf and people were like, this is so good. And then I saw the price, would I buy it? No, cause I'm cheap. But I like it. I have it, I like it, it's cool. If you wanna spend the money, you think it would be super helpful, then go for it. But also, I could live without it. Another thing that I have from Coco Kind, because I wanted to get their new lip SPF, because I'm like, everything should have SPF. And I wanted to hit like the free shipping mark. So I got two lip SPFs, one for my car, one for my purse. And then I got this as well, the turmeric tonic. I think I should have done this before anything that I put on my skin. Usually I just do it at night, but just to show you, because I do get some black, like dark spots, either just from the sun or from places that I have picked to help get rid of it. I've maybe had it for like a month. I have noticed a benefit and improvements in my dark spots and I like the little metal rolly ball, it feels good. And then the last thing from my, actually not the last thing, this I got hashtag gifted from Public Goods when they were doing their skincare thing. So I reviewed it with all the other public goods skincare. It's just their eye cream. It's public goods, it's affordable. I like the packaging, it's minimalist, and it does work. It's not too heavy, which I feel like heavy eye creams just, I don't know, I feel icky as an oily person. So this I do like, I think it has like caffeine in it to help with the poofiness. I'll use it morning and night, you can use it whenever. I do like it, like the consistency. And now the last thing to finish off the morning skincare, this. Mm, 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 is my favorite. I've tried a plethora of clean sunscreens that can work under makeup. Being an oily person, don't want something too heavy and oily. Want something that I can put under like alone and my skin feels moisturized. I've never done like sunscreen and a separate moisturizer. I want a sunscreen that will also moisturize. Adding on two creams just feels like a lot. So this I really like. It doesn't have anything in it to wear going on top of my niacinamide. I feel like my skin is gonna like roll off if that it makes sense like when you when you know the feeling you know the feeling it feels like a good moisturizer with sunscreen benefits 
without makeup and then when I do put makeup on over it like the makeup will sit on my skin properly and not melt off especially as the day goes on as I do get oilier I've really really enjoyed it and it's a zinc oxide so it's clean lasts a long time it's not heavy but again feels like a little moisturizer and then in the summer when my body is tan then i do add a little bit of these deep bronzy anti-pollution sunshine drops from drunk elephant i like they have like a little shimmer it's a little bronze i'll do it today even though i'm a little pasty boop just a little bit which is why it's lasted a million years it's also really nice just being in la especially in the summer one giving a little tint to my skin so it matches my body. Two, if I'm tanning on the roof right next to the 405, the roof, like I, when I clean that roof, smog, it's disgusting. So this also has anti-pollution, so it makes me feel like I'm not getting exhaust in my pores. This one I also like, not only is it UVA, like the stuff that's gonna give you sunspots, but also like blue light, UVB, and people also say like the blue light from your screen can give you wrinkles or something like like it's not good for your skin like i know that red light's good i really want to get a juve but i don't make that much money but blue light confuses me because like now there's things where it's like these blue light cleansing things and i think it's like maybe good for anti-bacterial purposes like it cleans gunk with the light their body has the face thing with also you can have a blue light on it i don't understand like i'm confused now because people are like blue light's bad bad for your eyes stop looking at blue light but then people are now like blue light's good let's make up our mind people nice little golden bronze and you just mix it in with your sunscreen and it gives that one a nice little bronze which also works if you do use any sunscreen that tends to leave like a heavier white cast even just like a little drop of that will help get rid of that white cast so it, like doesn't happen at all blend together and then just off we go my mom always told me when applying things rub up as much as you can to avoid wrinkles and she doesn't really have wrinkles so that is something that i will always do as much as possible i'm sure you get i have earrings on right now but get those little ears ear tips and then teeny tiny tad more neck and then if i have chest doing a little bit of that you don't want to have like a nice face and then your chest like you know when people like they get stuff done to their face. It's like, oh, they seem so young. But you can tell their real age by how wrinkly and like sun spotty their hands are and their chest. Keep those protected too. So then you can really convince people that you're younger. So now that is my daytime routine. Going into that nighttime routine. So I just cleanse my face the same way using whatever cleanser. Right now, the Coco Kind after probably the CeraVe for being honest. And then I get a little wild. One thing that I really, really like from Coco Kind again is their resurfacing sleep mask. It's like a clean, natural, plant-based retinol. So it's not nothing aggressive or nothing that's gonna like make your skin like peel or do anything crazy, which I know as someone with sensitive skin, using a retinol is like sometimes really hard because like your skin will react to so this. I do really like, it's creamy. It works as like a moisturizer too. So I wash my face, throw that on, skincare is done. It says to use it three to four times a week. I'm usually using it three. Other things that I do is the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution. This is really good, especially if I feel like, again, maybe not all my makeup came off. I'll take a little cotton round, reusable, washable, this on there, and then get that, and I just, it'll sting a little bit, but it, like, it stings in that good way where you're like, mm, it's getting all that junk. Also, like, after a travel, like, you traveled during the day, you were out, like, just smoggy. I just feel like this is getting all that extra gunk out, so I really enjoy that. And when I go with this root, because it's toning, it's tightening, about like a minute or so after, I really like this mineral fusion. And I first found out about it because I was on the EWG, like healthy products thing. And I was just looking for like healthy products overall. And I put in nighttime skin cream. Cause I don't know, I don't even know what I was using before. I've used this for like a few years now. This had a really, really good rating. It was affordable for like everything that it is. So I bought it and I continue to use it. It's a little thick, but at night we like thick. I mean, I need to get out of the way. Okay. Yeah, a little thick. And then also at night, again, sometimes throwing on this, the turmeric tonic to help get rid of any spots 
that I'm dealing with. And then every once in a while, I haven't used it in a really, really, really long time. But I do like the Ordinary AHA BHA Peeling Solution. If my skin is looking just like it needs some help, I do this. And then I sit there in pain like for 10 minutes, but it's worth it. I feel like a new woman after using it, so do recommend. It is painful though. It's the Ordinary, so super duper cheap. Other things that I really like is this Sicilic Acid. When I get my new CeraVe, the Sicilic Acid one, because that would be a Sicilic Acid that I'm using with my cleanser. I wouldn't go to using this again because there's no point in doubling up, but I'm almost out of it anyway. This I really use if I'm feeling like I'm getting more whiteheads or anything. I also just throw this on. Usually at night, I'll cleanse, put on this, and then like sometimes just do this is my combo. If my skin is feeling like extra, extra gross, then I do also use it in the morning before my niacinamide. They react fine together. So all this, like when it comes to nighttime stuff, it kind of just depends on how I'm feeling using this like again every two or three days. And my other stuff just kind of depends on like, do I want to feel like refreshed and tightened and like make sure there's no gunk in my pores, this one. Do I want to make sure I'm not getting any more whitehead sicilic acid? But again, once I switch over to the other CeraVe, almost done with sicilic acid anyway, so that timing might work out really well. And then like once a month, we go in with this crazy bad boy. And then just to end this off, since we're already on the topic of skincare, if it's like before something like on Wednesday night before we flew out on Thursday for the wedding, I did a little face mask. Doing that before a trip, before anything, where I'm just like, oh, I want my face to look extra shiny and like poreless. And then for my body, I have keratosis pylorus. So my mom had some of this and I used it back in early October when I was home and I was like, ooh, it feels really good. My skin's looking good. If I don't dry brush before the shower, I feel like dry brushing helps get all that extra dead skin because all KP is is that you're skin is always coming off but instead of going away it like stays on your body and like fills up the little pores and then it creates the little bumps and just some redness and sensitivity so if i dry brush before i get in the shower that just helps make sure that like there's no extra buildup. and then this i don't use it every single time after i get out of the shower put this on just on my arms on my thighs my kp isn't as bad but there's always extra like you do one pump and it lasts for your entire body to do it on my thighs. Sometimes my back, I don't get like back knee, but like one or two will pop up there every once in a while. So if I feel like my back's looking a little red, and then just throwing the extra on there. And then if my KP is really, really bad on my cheeks, then I'll wash my face and then I use this, but it's like it will tingle, especially if like there's any like opening pores or like you wash aggressively. Do this at night very lightly. And then although it's a moisturizer, it does tighten a lot and you feel a little dry so if i put on this on my face then i do put that on top of it with this though no matter where you're putting it on your body if you are seeing the sun anywhere near the sun sunscreen and it has 12 percent lactic acid so it just like clears everything out and it's also not greasy too so i feel good using that and then typically on my body i just use a lightweight eucerin because i hate heavy lotions so i hate heavy lotions and then having to put like clothes on after Ugh, I feel gross about that. So I just use Eucerin. Well, there you have it. That is my daily skincare routine. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what products you love to use and what else you wanna see here on my channel. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.